It reminded me that you mentioned before we started this podcast is there's an entire Reddit uh, <gasps> dedicated to the size of your nostrils. <laughs> yes. So apparently I have very cavernous nostrils, <laughs> and which is funny because people, I get like tons of people on one end saying, stop having plastic surgery on your face. Uh-huh. I've never had any plastic surgery on my face. I've just lost so much weight from the accident yeah. that it looks a lot thinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Everyone's You've like, always had like a kind of cat like look. thing. Because like the pictures that I took of you at, when yeah. you were 18, you still had that. Because you have kind of like a, a, like an exotic eye. Yeah. So I could see like why people would be like, oh, she's had like a facelift. But yep. you just have that. And the, but my cheekbones have finally like come out. I lost the little. Like, also, the, yeah, because you're older. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just, it's funny because they, it's, they go one way or the other. They're like, wow, she needs to like stop fucking with her face. And then the other one is like, wow, she needs to really fix those cavernous nostrils of hers. I don't think there's anything wrong with your nostrils for the record. I just thought it was funny that like someone had started a whole forum <laughs> about it and then a bunch of people chimed in and it's become a thing. So, I mean, I, I can't take offense to it, to be honest, because if someone's complaining about your nostrils on a forum, you must be doing something right. Yeah. Because, I mean, damn, they have to pick the mo- they most have to pick minuscule. something. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's funny. Like, he's like, oh, it's, it's so big, but I can't stick my dick in there. Like, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> like, wh- what was your thought behind that? Did you, do you want to stick your dick up my nostril or what? <laughs> Guys are always looking for new holes to put their dick in. <laughs> you know, it's just not enough to have the vagina, right. the asshole in the mouth. And then fourth hole behind the, behind the knee. It's when you close your knee back and you jerk the dick off. I have never, knee. I have never done that. Fourth hole. What about can you? You could do it you with your elbow. You could do, you could do it with your elbow. I feel like that would be easier. It, you would think, but it just depends on the positioning of the angle. If he's standing and if you're laying on the bed on your side, yeah, like it's it's very. So if you're doing, it's more like a jerking off motion. When mm. you have your leg up, it's more of like a him fucking your leg motion. Hmm. Interesting. You know, I, I I should. I'm I'm gonna try that. You know. I'm going to be like, I'm going to go home and tell my boyfriend. I'm like, hey, I want to try something different. <laughs> like, do you want to fuck the back of my knee? He's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Come on, baby, you're really hot. Come on, you know you want my knee. My fuck knee. You know, Andrew Blake, who was a very famous director um, like a decade back, uh, had an armpit fetish. I noticed that about a lot of actually certain guys. They love like this, like natural sweat. Mm. And they like they want to like lick it off of you. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. I mean, if it's your thing, it's your thing. Yeah. I just I'm not into licking sweat. No. Though I can, I can like I get the point of like liking like someone's true smell. Like I the love it. Like yeah, I love it. Like when my man's like sweaty or like come, he comes to the gym or comes from hockey. He's yes. always like, Oh my god, I smell. I'm like I love it. But yeah, because that's like. You know that that pheromone connection, mm-hmm. but I don't. I don't think I'd want to lick the sweat yes. off of his body. I think it's more funny when people seek out just like random people that they want to lick the sweat off them. Mm-hmm. Like it's like definitely like lick the sweat off your partner, but like lick the sweat off just some random person. Like, yeah, everyone, I know everyone everyone's person, got their thing. They, they love it though. Yeah, everyone's <laughs> got their thing. Hey, you know what? God bless you. Right. If you want to lick the sweat off people's armpits. So More power to you, people. We're not going to stop do it. you. We will approve of it. We are not going to judge you. We will not judge you. <laughs> as long as you don't judge my nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, Madison. Well, thank you for coming on. Everybody go follow her on social media if you haven't already. And make sure that you check out her scenes on Brazzers and her upcoming anal scene at yes. some point. I can't yes. wait to see how that comes out. I'm so excited. It's going to be amazing. And um, you guys can follow me at Holly Randall on Twitter and Instagram. And if you like this podcast, please, please, please go rate it and leave me a review. I would appreciate it so very much. And if you want to support me, you can go to patreon.com slash Holly Randall Unfiltered. And I have all kinds of cool perks and prizes there for my supporters. So thank you guys so much. I couldn't do this without you. Thank you, Madison. I couldn't do this without you. And um, it was so good to see you. It was so good to see you. All right, guys. I will see the rest of you next week. Bye.